Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and I sell part-time on Poshmark and also The Real Real. So I'm in a bit of a different location just for this one video. I have something brand new to share with you guys today and it is a thread up DIY denim box, the 30 pounds. So it was just too heavy to bring up to the table so I'm gonna record this one here. We may get a cameo from my cat, Stuart, if he decides to join us because there's no way for me to close him off from this area. But I hope everybody's doing well. Thank you for everybody that attended the St. Patrick's Day Fun Box Crawl on Friday. It was a huge success. So thank you so much to Brighton who organized it and also to Marilyn who had the awesome giveaway. It brought a lot of new subscribers to the channel. So again, welcome everybody. I do post content Monday and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern of Mystery Unboxings. So if for some reason you aren't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. And please hit the thumbs up for me if you enjoy the video. So I have never ordered this box before. I decided I was gonna try it. Um, it's really a reasonable price. I believe it was $32 for the 30 pounds. And I assume most of it is gonna be kind of junky and not listable, but I'm hoping maybe there's a couple gems in here that we're able to list. I have seen people get mother brand jeans in here, so you just never know. Um, it did come from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. And here's my scissors. So let's take a look and see what's in here. One of my subscribers did say she gets this one a lot and has had some pretty good luck with it between selling the Play-Doh's Closet and listing a couple things herself. And I do have an invoice here. This came from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. I ordered it March 11th. And it was $32, it did ship free for me. I just had um, the tax on top of the 32. So we'll go ahead and get started. I do see something brand new with the tag in there, so that's good. First up we have is Abercrombie and & Fitch. And these are a really small size, a 24. And they're a skinny jean with a raw hem. And they really look like they're in okay condition. There might be a little stain there. But overall, they look okay. This is a really tiny size. And I have other size 24 brand um, or size 24 jeans in my closet that aren't really getting a lot of movement. So I'll have to see if those are worth listing. I have a mini skirt here and another tiny size from Hollister. So it's definitely cute. Um, it's a high rise skirt, 100% cotton. So that might be something I would list, just heading into spring. It'd be super easy, just a couple pictures. Hopefully not everything is size 24. Um, next up I have Harper Heritage, and these are a size 27. And they are also a skinny jean in a black denim. So um, no, Oh, there is a condition issue here with the belt loop. So I don't know about this brand, but I don't think it's that great, but I will look into it. Um, but otherwise I wouldn't bother listing those unless they have really good comps. I have a pair of white jeans here. And these are a crop skinny. And I don't see a branding tag. There are 28. So I am not sure about what brand this is. Um, it does maybe say on the button. I don't know if I can read it um, at the moment. It just says denim supply. 
It may be Ralph Lauren, RL Denim Supply possibly. So I will have to look into that one. And Stuart just came down. So I will introduce him um, in case anybody has not met him yet. Here he is. Um, he is uh, 17. So I've had him since he was about six months or a year old. So he's an old guy now, but he's still very feisty and he is my baby. And normally he doesn't, you know, get this close to the inventory, but since this is a DIY denim, you know, I'll make an exception. Hopefully he won't try to get into the box uh, as we're going. Um, these are Diana Gilman. I've gotten this brand before once in a um, Goodwill Blue Box. They're real stretchy. I think she might sell on QVC or something like that. So they seem like they're in good condition. I don't think these uh, sell for much, but I can see if they're worth listing depending on what the comps are. So, I mean, so far the items are in decent condition. Next is a Hollister Super Skinny and a 2731. And these have a bit of distressing on them with the hole in the knee. So, not too bad. I mean, I still wear skinny jeans. I know they're kind of out of style now but I'm sure people are still looking for them. And these are really cute with the distressing. Next, I have a pair of Joe's jeans. And these are a size 27. And they're from 2019. They're the Willowbrook. So these have a pretty high uh, retail value, but I don't really have a lot of luck reselling Joes, but they're again, nice with the distressing and they seem to be in pretty good condition. So I will probably list those. So I figured this was worth a try because most of the clothing boxes don't tend to have denim. So I thought there could be some decent things in here. Um, this is Goodfellow & Co. I believe that's Target or Walmart. Um, they are a straight jean. And I don't see a size listed in there. Um, they look like they might be women's, but I'm not 100% sure until I look closer. They're a black denim. So I have sold a brand of Goodfellow before, and they didn't go for much. So I don't know if I'll bother listing those or not, depending on what else is in the box. Next, I have a pair of Loft that are new with the tag, and these are a white jean, the curvy 90s high waist straight. So that's, that is great. These had a discounted price of $50. And they do have a distressed knee. And they feel like they have a little bit of stretch to them. So these I will definitely list and I think those will sell. So I'm very happy about those. And I don't see any issues with them in terms of stains. So I'll put those on the side. And I do see something else brand new as well in here. Um, next, I have a pair of denim shorts. And these are the low stride short in a 28 by Gap. So I would probably list those as well, just since it's really easy to find out what the style is since it says it on there. I have another pair of loft. These are a legging jean. And this one, I do not see a size in there, but they look like they're pretty tiny. So 
So again, I'm not seeing huge flaws on any of the items. These are um, brand new, the SO brand. I believe that is Kohl's. These are a midi low rise short and brand new with the tag. So I will definitely list those. I think this is a pretty good box. Next up is a rag and bone, which is a great brand. These are a size 25 but they have um, you know, really cool pocket detailing. Maybe just a little bit of pulling between the legs there. And the ankle has another zipper. So not a great size being so small, but they look all right, a little bit of pulling, but nothing major. So I think I can definitely list those. And next I have some embroidered pocket denim with the floral. And these are max jeans in a size six and they are a crop. So I don't think this brand does amazingly well, but um, these are, you know, certainly a unique style. So I will probably list those. So I was expecting to get a lot more Target and Walmart brands in the box and Old Navy's um, stuff like that. So I am happy to be seeing some other type of brands. We have another pair of Loft. These are Loft Outlet. And they do have kind of an interesting hem there but I'll have to look around for a size. There's a bit of curling on the pockets. So not terrible. And next I have a pair of straight jeans. These are, let's see, the pocket is really, or the tag on the back is really worn out. I don't know if that says Articles of Society, possibly, which I have gotten that brand before. Yes, they are. It says it on the interior. So those, um, you know, uh, retail for a decent price. I believe I sold a pair of these before. So I will look into those ones. They don't look in, to be in horrible shape, but again, a skinny jean. And next I have a pair of Massimo. And these are a high rise jegging. So those are pretty um, neat. They have the button fly and then some larger cargo type pockets on them. So not a great brand, but they are a neat style, so maybe worth a few dollars to list. Next, I have Highway 3. And they are highway jeans and they're a size 3. So that's just a Junior's brand, I'm assuming. Probably not worth listing those, but I will look into the brand to make sure. There's a lot in this box. I have a pleated skirt here and it's a white denim. And I do not see any interior um, tags in there. So I don't know if this is a homemade type of job. There is a zipper on the sides. So I'll look into that closer, but probably nothing there. And next I have another pair of shorts here. And it looks like they are a size medium. Um, just a really, really short pair with the frayed uh, bottoms, but I'm not sure what the brand is on those. 
There is a button, but there's um, nothing on there. So I'll take another look at that, but probably not worth listing. I have Aeropostale, another really small skinny jean. These are from 2018 and they're a size two. So those will probably be a pass. Next I have Express. And these are really stretchy and a skinny jean. These definitely have quite a bit of pulling there at the upper thighs. Um, they are a size zero and they're the legging mid-rise. So those will probably be a pass also. Next, I have a um, the Prima ankle. These are designed in Southgate, somewhere in California. And the brand, I guess, is AG, Aged Denim. And they're a 29 regular. So I have never heard of that brand. Um, nothing too out of the ordinary with these, pretty plain. But I will take a look and see if that is worth listing depending on the brand. Next, I have a pair of red jeans and these are Ben Sherman. And they look like they're an older pair. The tag is really worn out. They're a 2934. So I'm not sure if these would be men's or women's. Um, I I know he does men's stuff, but probably women's as well. So that might be worth listing. Too bad I didn't have those for Valentine's Day or Christmas. And next I have a pair of Democracy jeans and a size 12. So I have heard of this brand. They um, do have this kind of elastic in them to hold in your waist, the app technology. And they definitely feel like they've had some wear to them. They're really lightweight. So I'll look into that. They're a decent brand. I don't know how much they resell for, but I think you can usually find them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and stuff like that. I have a pair of camo jeans here by Wild Fable, which is Target. And they're a medium, so they have a nice stretchy waist. And they're a camo cargo. And then they have the cinch bottom. Those are really cute. So based on the style, those might be worth listing. At least something a little bit different than just a skinny jean. Um, next, I have Matchstick uh, brand. I've never heard of that one either. They are a size 29, I think I saw somewhere. Yeah, 29 tall. And they look kind of more like a straight leg, um, darker denim. So I will have to look into that brand. These ones feel like they're in nice condition. I don't think they've been worn a ton or washed that much. At least with this box, it's pretty easy to weed out, you know, what you might be interested in listing and then just move on. These are um, A Denim, I guess is the brand. And they're a size 28 and a black jean. So again, I'm not sure about that brand. I usually never spend much money on jeans. I probably should, you know, to get ones that fit good, but 
Usually I just pick them up at Old Navy. So I, that's probably why I'm not familiar with a lot of the brands. Um, this is BDG. And these are a high rise 32. Uh, those seem like they're in pretty good condition and a nice size. So I would probably list those. And just a couple more pairs here. These are American Eagle. Um, they are stretch jean and a curvy mom jean. So that's good. And they are a size 16. So assuming that these are in good condition, I would list these. So I don't see anything popping out that's an issue. So I'm very pleased with this box actually. It's a lot better than I expected it to be. And next we do have the Old Navies. Um, these are the Rock Stars. And these are a 14 regular. And it looks like they might be a cropped. They don't look that long for being a regular length. And it looks like they do have some pulling here, unless they're wrinkled, but I, I think that is some pulling at the seam. So maybe not worth listing those. I'll have to look into them. And next we have a pair of Express. The Express is kind of colored out, so I don't know if that was one that maybe made it to TJ Maxx or something. So they're just a distressed skinny jean. And they may have a little bit of staining here and there. Um, they are the legging mid-rise in a size two. So yeah, it looks like there are some stains on that. So I probably won't bother getting those into shape to list. And next I have a MNG denim. And these are a size 14 in a black. And they look like they're really a relaxed fit with a wide leg. So those are interesting. Again, I've never heard of that brand. And lastly, we have a pair of Diana Skinny in a size eight. And these are cut from the cloth. So that is a good brand. And especially since it has the style listed, um, but there is some polling here. So those may not be in condition that's sellable. So I'll have to check those out a little better, but I think this box overall was pretty good. Um, there's a lot that's not gonna be worth the time to list, but everything was in relatively good condition other than some minor polling and stuff like that. I didn't really see holes or major stains. So I guess we can count up how many pairs we got for the 30 pounds. One. Okay, so final count was we got 34 pairs of jeans, which I definitely think I can make a little bit of a profit on this box. So I'm very happy with it. It was a lot better than I expected it to be. So please let me know if you've tried this one or what your thoughts were about my box. And please hit the thumbs up for me on the way out and I will see you back soon with another video. Have a great day.